Another round of fantastic updates for System76's Cosmic Rust Desktop. This post focuses in on the new window swapping mode, which is quite fantastic. We're going to go through this post in the new updates that have come to us through September, but I first wanna show you what this new swap mode design looks like and the animation that follows it. Just when you think their tiling support can't get any better, they make a change to the tiling design and add a new mode in. In my opinion, that is absolutely fantastic. Let's check out how to use this. So I have a few windows here on my desktop. The one that's currently active is the one that's highlighted in this teal color. And now to activate the new mode, I'll type super X and you'll notice how it kind of pops out. What does that mean? Well, that means I have the current window that's active raised up, meaning I can move it around in this new mode. This is the swap windows mode. So in order to do that with holding down super X, I can now move it around the screen. Notice it tells me that it's swapping the windows and I can swap anywhere I want. So for example, if I wanted Firefox front and center, I could swap it with this calculator by putting it over the top and then letting go of super X. And look at that. Now Firefox is over here. This is a fantastic feature. And now I'm going to switch by doing super arrow again, highlighting the calculator this time. And now I have my calculator located here in the middle where it shows up a little bit better, at least for my purposes. Fantastic. And of course I can do this with any window. I really love how easy they've made this. You can even take your window to a brand new workspace if you wanted to. And now it's completely available on that new workspace. I can just as easily pop it back into the last workspace that I had and then put the window wherever I want. I'm absolutely loving this new feature because it just makes a lot of sense. It's very intuitive and allows you to see where you're going with the current window. Instead of having to go directly between windows, sort of like what we saw before, you see everything getting rearranged, which is fine, but sometimes you have a very specific area in mind to swap. And now with this new Super X shortcut, known as the swap window mode, it'll make our lives even better when using the Cosmic Rust desktop. For more information on this new mode, you can check it out with a little bit of a demo shown to you. But what's interesting is that they're already talking about how to make this mode better. Currently, you have to hold down Super X the entire time while you're moving things around. But there's been talks about making it a toggled mode. That way, when you toggle Super X on, it will automatically hold inside that mode until you've repositioned your window. I think that makes more intuitive sense. Instead of having to hold Super X down while you're making a decision, let's just toggle it into the mode, hold it there until you've made your decision. Or you can toggle it off, of course, by hitting Super X again if you wanna get out of it. Anyways, already changes being made to that one, but here's another cool thing that has shown up with this September release update. What I have found, let's toggle off the tiled mode into the floating window mode. In logging in for the first time, I have now noticed a little bit of a separation here at the bottom, which looks like it's for dock implementation. I haven't seen a dock inside of the new Rust Cosmic desktop yet, but it looks like there's a placeholder for it now. So I'm super excited as development is probably taking place for that dock. Yes, it's not here, but maybe we can expect it soon since they're making a location for it at the bottom of the screen. Quite excited to see that update. And now let's talk about the other updates that are available in September by looking through the blog. Pop OS and Cosmic Desktop Environment are built to stay out of your way so you can focus on getting things done. With auto tiling, new windows arrange themselves automatically on your screen to reduce the hassle. It's important then that rearranging tiled windows manually feels as seamless as possible. Cosmic's new window swapping mode helps facilitate this seamlessness with as na the name suggests, an easy way to swap windows with your keyboard. Pressing and holding down the Super X creates a small version of the selected window, signaling that you are now in window swapping mode. We've already tried this and it looks great. While holding Super X, use your arrow keys to hover over the, over the window you will swap it with. Release the keys and presto a swapped window. And it really does look great. Search and cosmetics. Funny play on words there. Widgets such as text inputs, search fields, and inline inputs have been implemented. It's exciting to watch the engineering team fill out the Cosmic Desktop Environment puzzle one piece at a time. 
but also multiple pieces at a time work. It was also done with symbolic icons like the magnifying glass found in search fields for the desktop environment. To make their size and colors more accurate to the context, the color of the icons can now be determined by the user's set theme and their size can be influenced by their properties. This helps in keeping our styling consistent across widgets while filling out the features for Cosmic application developers. So you can see a little snip here of the launcher and how the theming goes well with the search bar for the launcher. Not only that, but the font color stays as a part of the overall settings. Another great improvement, dynamic settings were added to the keyboard and mouse settings, meaning that when a setting is changed, you'll see effects immediately. Support was added to Cosmic's compositor to make this possible. In addition, Christian Mycel worked on profiling Smith A. The library Cosmic compositor is based on and some great performance improvements that directly help Cosmic with performance and power consumption. You can read about some of these optimizations on a merge pull request. I'll put a link in the description below so you can check this out. But the System76 team is already busy trying to optimize the desktop environment for us. Gesture support, the compositor now supports the pointer gesture protocol, allowing gestures like pin to, pinch to zoom to work in supported application. Ivan added support to the touch pad gestures in Smith A, which was then wired up to Cosmic Compositor. The panel and dock settings have been implemented into the Cosmic desktop environment. Each can be customized to your liking. You can change the position on screen, adjust the size or capacity, add margins, and see it in either light or dark mode. Each also has the ability to automatically hide, meaning your panel or dock will stay hidden until your mouse approaches it. Panel and dock settings is also where you'll configure which applets are accessible from your desktop, such as Wi-Fi, battery, graphics, workspaces, and time. Note that hiding the time app applet will not physically stop time. Funny. We can see a new and improved desktop and panel settings, which is fantastic as they're making great strides. So here's a couple examples that they give us of how the desktop could look like. Notice on the left-hand side, they have a customized bar. And here we have another customized bar up at the top with the dock at the bottom. Finally, under the hood, they have updated the fork of ICE to version 0.1 refactored and updated the Cosmic Time animation library so that it supports both ICE.1 and the latest version of LibCosmic widget library. They've also implemented security context protocol for Smith A and Cosmic Compositor, and then improved the handling of non-expanded panels with applets configured for left and right sides. That's it for the updates that were made to Cosmic desktop environment, the Rust version. And it looks like we have another one coming in October as they say, stay around for spooky cosmic news. If you're enjoying the dev here on the Rust Cosmic Desktop, make sure to thank a System76 developer. They're doing great work. I love following the development here on Cosmic Desktop. If you're interested in a potential release date for this desktop environment, check out my other video, which I recently posted called Cosmic Release Date. Catch me in a great community on Discord and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.